question for Misha. Um, I'm wondering if you, you think about these sort of things. You're fighting in the 205 pound division, relatively young, you're Canadian. You have a lot going for you in a division that doesn't seem to have a lot going for it right now. Do you feel like you can actually move up quickly because you have those things in your back pocket? Uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm always also getting better. I'm a martial artist and uh, I'm not, I'm not crazy about like jumping and just, you know, whatever Joe Silva wants me to do, like, you know, I'll, I'll fight, I'll fight anybody. And that's kind of like, I'm just trying to get better and meet more uh, high level athletes and uh, cross train together and just, uh, just getting better, you know. They replayed the, uh, the moment in which it seemed as though his, his jaw broke. Um, what's going through your mind when you feel that? Obviously you heard it, you were right there, and I'm sure you felt some change in his uh, jaw structure. What's going through your mind there? I mean, I heard that happen, and uh, then right away he started tapping, and I, I was just really excited, you know, all the, all the training is working out, and you know, all the hard work slowly paying off, and uh, I'm just really, really happy to get the tap, you know, I, uh, in the first round, uh, like if somebody w seen me fight before, like you know, I go for takedowns as well. But um, my strategy was just to keep it on the feet first round, just tire him up a little bit, and then uh, go for takedowns and start working my uh, ground in the second round. And uh, the strategy like worked out, and just very happy with the performance. And especially not just as a submission, but I was able to like break his jaw. So you know, it's, I'm impressed. <laughs> Well, you should be. Uh, and uh, one other question for you. Uh, the rap song that you alluded to, uh, that group made famous because they did a song about Chris Dapps Porzingis, and now they made one about you. How did that happen? How did that come about? You know, um, before when I, before fighting UFC, nobody knows who I am, but here you have, like, I had my first UFC fight, and then all of a sudden, uh, everyone back home in Latvia, everybody just, you know, they're really excited, you know, because uh, right now I'm ranked as number one fighter in Latvia, and people are very, very supportive, and um, they just, you know, they decided to help one of their own, and um, I'm, I'm just very happy that they did that, and uh, hopefully um, more people will get to know who I am. Yeah.